was on a trip to Egypt and I had invited my daughter to go along. We were leaving in February and of course if you know anything about February in Massachusetts, it of course snowed and there was a huge blizzard. We did make our flight. There was much panic, much racing through JFK, much getting the airplane connector tunnel open in the freezing weather. We made it to Frankfurt. We connected in JFK to the stands and made it to Frankfurt, made it to Cairo, and our luggage stayed at JFK. So off we go on the ship and she has no luggage, nothing except what she wore on the plane and maybe, you know, one or two little things in her handbag. Uh, myself and one of the other participants managed to scrounge together some clothes and shoes and things that she and her daughter could wear during the trip and that was kind of a bonding experience for us. She only had like a pair of flip floppy shoes and I said, you cannot hike in those. I said, I've got a pair of shoes. No, no, I can't take your shoes, she said. I said, well, of course you can. How can I wear two pair, you know? There were some very nice people on this boat and two of them were women that we are still, I'm still friends with. She can roll with life in general and uh, certainly can roll with things on trips. I mean, she would come to the dinner table and, and she just had the same wind, you know, windsuit and pants on that she'd had for days and she'd go, do you like my new outfit? Well, they're both good sports. I think a lot of Road Scholar travelers are good sports. It's adventure travel. You never know what's going to happen. Usually you get your luggage, but in our case, that was just an additional adventure. <laughs> well, Carolyn and I have had a lot of fun together, uh, both on the two trips that we've taken and subsequently just on phone calls and emails back and forth. She's game for anything, and she loves, she just loves to learn new things, and I, I really enjoy people like that. If it wasn't for Carolyn, I wouldn't have a wonderful friend who has been very uh, understanding and supportive um, over the time that we've known one another. Though we've not physically been in one another's company a lot, we certainly have been in one another's company a lot emotionally. As you go through life, you're in different situations and you're going to have different friends. A Road Scholar really does make it easy to create new friendships. The f people who tend to uh, book those trips, in my experience, are people who are very open to new experiences and new people. It's really broadened my experience with people and I find every time I take a trip, I am just stunned that all of these people are so well-traveled and they all have such special talents and special knowledge and they're just so interesting to be around. They have a love of uh, learning new things, of exploring new situations. There are certain people that you meet in and you're just instantly drawn to them. And both Mary and Linda are that sort of person. Mm -hmm.